cracking up. Right, I had a whole seven minute video going on. <sighs> Explaining the vision the Lord gave. Well, not necessarily a vision, but he kept giving me numbers last year. Um, one, 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 two, 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 three, two, three. A lot of people went through this. A lot of people questioning as to why. That's what I did. I finally got fed up and said, all right, Lord, is this from you? If it's not, make it go away. I rebuke it in your name, in Jesus' name. And if it is, then I want to know, what are you trying to say? So, I heard in my spirit, clearly, John. Right? I'm like, John? I'm like, duh, get the Bible. Better yet, I'm going to start back. I was going to the Word, and my phone was right by my Bible. And what do I do? I'm seeing these numbers on the clock and everything, right? And I feel like I'm supposed to go to the Word, right? So I go to the Bible. What do I do? I pick up my phone instead, and I look at the clock, and it's one, one, one. <laughs> All right, Lord, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so boom, John has spoken to my spirit, so I look it up. Okay, John one eleven. He came into his own, but his own received him not. Then I went to John chapter two, verse twenty two. But when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered what he'd said, and they believed the scriptures and the words that he'd said. Then I went to John chapter 3, verse 33. It says, those who believed his testimony had sealed to their hearts that God is true. Then I moved on to chapter 4, verse 44. A prophet is never welcome in his own country. Then I went to 555. Well, there is not one. There's no verse 55 in chapter 5. So I went to 6 and I saw 55. And it says, uh, My body is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. Now don't quote me on any of these. Look them up. Go in there and look up every one of them and highlight them and read them in a row. So that was John six fifty five. My body is meat indeed, and my blood, my yeah, my blood is drink indeed. So by faith we know that's not cannibalism, but can you imagine what it must be like to the mind that does not understand that? So the next thing is John six verse sixty six. From that point on, many turned away and walked with him no more. Now let's go back to John 3.33. Those who believed his testimony are sealed to their hearts that God is true. Well, if John 3.33 says sealed to their hearts that God is true, what do you suppose John 6.66 6, means when they said many turned away and walked with him no more? Have they sealed their hearts also? Let's see. So I personally thankful for John three thirty three. You know, I'm surrounded by a huge group of religious atheists, um, but my heart is sealed. To everything Jesus has said and done and warned about and blessed and encouraged and corrected all comes from the fact that he's in my heart. He needs me to follow suit in that obedience and faith, knowing that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the Father but by Him. I see 
a lot of self-righteousness where others are being stepped on for someone else's gain and that's not that's not God that's not Jesus and we can't get to heaven by stepping on somebody else's head man and this goes out to the narcissistic community, which is probably getting really mad right now if you're listening at all. <laughs> so sorry. Nero was a narcissist. <sighs> Mainly because he had sealed his heart to 666. You know, we make ourselves God then we refuse to believe his word because it counteracts everything we want to do and say. So I understand from the other end why why they hate me. <laughs> it's because I love him. It's worth it. Because his prophecy is welcome in my heart. He stands at the door. John 444. Is he welcome? In your country.